a chocolate cake. It's not like we have these listed or anything like that. Ah. We don't. Let's try that again. back guys thirsty thursdays another beautiful day in the prairie this is week number 27 <laughs> no i can't be yeah. that it can't be that much wow no this ain't week 20 more like week seven eight eight i think it's eight as you can see we have no guests again so yeah it's blank we can do that little break between guests so we will start with the hashtag triple t Thursday taste. What do we got? This is always a surprise for me because I never really know what we're getting. I can't he, reach. He's uh, been by a couple times this week. He is my brother. He comes by. And uh, now he then. just will not spill the beans about what we're tasting. So. Uh, you you read it out loud there. Oh, so this helps get the taste of puckers out of your mouth. <laughs> 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 References. And Sam Adams, you know, shout out to uh, the Samuel Jacksons of the world. Yeah, you know, uh, the, what is that a reference to? To the Dave Chappelle show. Dave Chappelle show. Yeah. No, this is the Sam Adams, not a Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson, I was mistaken, helps get the taste of cigarettes and hookers out of your is there so, a, a it's actually here's the thing though. The reason, the reason I got this is because it's a seasonal beer. It's summer. It's right now in your region. It's plus thirty outside. So we will show it to Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. <laughs> I am a robot. So we will try out. There's even expired. Samuel beer. Adams Summer Ale. Oh, so it's not a regular. No, Sam. it's a summer. Oh, okay. It's a seasonal thing. That's why. like I've had a Sam Adams and like okay, this yeah, is right. special. Okay, it's a summer Sam. Sam. Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams. Cheers, Cheers to the Samuel Adams. Uh, to well, what has it go? Uh, you know Sam Adams. Great beer. Great summer beer. I highly recommend this one of all that we've had. You know, even the monkey was a little wild, but I'm totally well, down with Sam Adams summer beer. It definitely has a summer feel. It's been very hot lately out here in the prairie. Yeah. And so I work construction. I'm out there every day, and it has been hot. And this is. is quite refreshing. So I'm not gonna lie. It's you have a lot of swass. That <laughs> sweaty ass. What else can you think? Let's say oh. swag. There's swag. You have a sweaty back. Uh, I have a sweaty back, I have a sweaty ass, I have a sweaty feet. Sweet. sweet. That's a sweet. Yeah, that's pretty sweet! <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> we're really swagina. Yeah. <laughs> so, speaking of dirty content. What are we doing here? We have Because we have no guests, what are we doing? We have a brand new segment, let's try it. New segment! And with that, how about let's try to do like a screenshot thing and be like a new segment and we'll just point. Well, hold on, hold on. Before we point. And it'll be like. Before Studio C. Before, before everybody. Okay. Before even Dave Chappelle's. Saturday Night Live, yes. You were first. We get it. Everybody pumps the hell out of you. Yeah. But growing up, what hit close home to me, being the skateboarder punk that I was and. Grew up in the household I grew up in, loving the senses and stuff. It's like, what really hit home? And are you ready? Ready? Yeah. Mad TV. Right there. And so big shout did. out to Mad. Nobody did it better. They went out on a very bad ending, kind of like. So I know it. It was like a pop that went flat in your fridge you forgot about, and you always want to mix that fuck. And then they tried to drink it again, and it just yeah. it was. It, was it fizzled up. But what? when it was carbonated. Oh, it was it popping. Was, it was popping off popping. the lid. So, we have a segment here that we're going to introduce. Uh, top fives. No, nope. top five's been overdone so much. Why don't we try top six? What about the sixth guy? Yeah, because every top five, it's like, well, so you missed out this person. Yeah, yeah. 
You must have what about the six guy top I could be the six guy and you guys would be like, oh the greatest rappers of all time, like dial on, dial on, dial on, dial on and dial on. <laughs> and then there's our Sam Hay. Yeah, and then there's our UK. Samuel Jackson. No. Summertime bro. No. Uh so we're gonna do a new segment. Six. R2K's top six. Top Richard five. and Roberts, top six. Top five's been overdone. And so the first much. time we're doing the top six is on Mad TV's characters. Cliche characters. Because we, here's now, the thing. We got sidetracked and we're just watching Mad TV sketches. And we're like, hey, let's just do this. Let's kick back. Beauty moments. Crack Beauty. a drink with us, because then what we're gonna do. We'll save the best for last and we'll we work will. our way up. And so and we, we discuss this slightly. What we will do is put all the links to the videos and characters. I highly suggest watching the videos to all you guys out there watching these YouTube sensations that think, yeah. Ooh, I'm bad. I stuck a, a for sale sign on Trump's lawn and like I'm doing some sort of a prank. I lit a, oh, I lit a fire in my mom's uh, pool in California. Like, boo earns. If you haven't heard who Jackass is, they did it tenfold. It's a very uh, Mickey Mouse version of what Jackass did. You'll never amount to it. Steve O, Johnny Knoxville, and Ryan Dunn. Oh, Rest in peace. Ryan Dunn. Bam Margerina. CKY. You're talking to a guy that used to run out of the recorder at 15 years old, jumping out of shopping carts, being that, living that. So know? let's save that for number one, because I feel yeah. like there's a character. Oh. There'll be a segue into that. We'll get back there. But anyways, Mad TV top six. Top six. Top six Mad TV. Number six. Number six. Something that we can all relate to. Or not oh yeah. Number six, something <laughs> that Richard. We I can relate to. We can relate to, not you. It's Bobby Lee's the blind kung fu master. And that's what we were watching just before we started filming this. And it's actually, for like, the new era of Mad TV, it's pretty funny. Shout out to Bobby Lee, he's Korean. There you go. A Korean sketch. Bobby Lee. Lee's Korean. My mom's main name's Lee. Bobby Lee. Not, no, I'm no, not going to pretend like that ain't a common <laughs> last name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's my bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any Lee is a Lee of us, for sure. <coughs> but the blind Kung Fu Master, what do you think makes that the funniest? I don't know, uh, there's an episode that uh, uh, recollects in my mind that just really is, it's a uh, jewelry heist. And it actually features a guy, one of your, uh, and you come from a radio background with your broadcasting schooling that really dabbles into per, uh, impressions, impressions and stuff. What's Frank, Frank Caliendo, we'll put the name right there. He's in the sketch. The Look at Frank. Video. Frank does a hell of a job. but. He also features in this sketch with Bobby Lee and they are both, it's the blind master Kung Fu master and then his protege. They get in a fight but they don't even get close to it's each other. Pretty, that's the funny part. It's, it's pretty epic. You physical don't see, comedy. You don't see that on TV anymore. So, no. Number five is um, King of Michael Key's character and <laughs> it's Two Shines. King of Michael who? Key. No relation oh. again. <laughs> we're not related to any of these people. This is not a plug. If we are, we're expecting our role. Anyway, yeah. Coach Hines. Coach Hines. He's the one with the hiked up shorts. You're, you're in the key and peel. You might have discovered who Coach Hines is. You watch that TV. You're from my generation. Coach Hines, man. And he's always. Always intense. Every every sketch he's in, he's like, he's a coach, right? It reminds you of that guy in high school that pushed you to just drive to something you didn't really care for. Exactly. And the skit that I that reminds sketch, me of the best. And we're gonna put it in the yeah, description. We'll link that skit. Is Oliver Twist? But he's how he did got, he become the? Director? Well, he got he got subbed in because yeah. the director was sick, so they took the coach in <laughs> to direct the play, and he runs it like a football play. Anyway. Number four is Lorraine. Lorraine. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Very oh. masculine. Oh. Yeah. Gosh. No, no, she's a pretty masculine woman. If you watch Mad TV. I know her character with she's, her pants like Yeah, and everything's, gosh, it's cute. Yeah. Yeah. 
I used to crack my mother up at the kitchen <laughs> table or at the dinner table when we have a supper and my mom's like, you know, not really into mom's meatloaf because it was kind of dry. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, <laughs> Uh, uh, and it cracks mom up because you no know, feelings hurt because she's like, well, my cookies aren't good. Like, you make a mean kimchi bowl of rice. Like, I'm not going to lie. When it comes to your meatloaf, it's like, uh, <laughs> like okay, rolling on. Check That's out Lorraine, Lorraine. And Link again. And she is Stuart's mom. Hashtag, we're moving on to that later. Number on. three. Boom. Stuart as the character. Stuart! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I can do. Well, uh, look what I can do. Everybody knows Stuart. Everybody knows Stuart from the Austin Powers movie. Everybody knows Stuart and all the poor man, man. He was in everything, but he was nowhere, you know. Well, one of the best straight face actors. Michael McDonald is his name, right there. Number two, R2K represents number two. Who's number two? Boo! Is Miss Swan. Oh, she's looking like a man. Yeah. He looked like a man. He looked like a man? I don't know. It's been years. And that relates into my household a lot because my mom just thought like every guy looked like a man. And she had a little Asian accent too. She, but Miss Swan. Miss Swan? I mean, she's not even Oh, no, no, yeah. Miss Swan. Oh, she's available. Ooh. <laughs> but then again, like, that's a whole Mad TV character. Everybody knows the like, actress now, right? She's, yeah, she's a big writer, a family, yeah. family guy. So yeah, Miss One at number two, and number another, one. Another link in the description. Do. Number one is Will Sasso, because of course Will we just Sasso. It again. Will Sasso. Much respect to you. Yeah, Canadian too. Will Sasso. So represent that. He's from BC. Anyways, what's the best Will Sasso character that we're bringing up from Mad TV? That's kind of a tough test because he played like it's Arnold like Schwarzenegger was pretty great. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal was, Steven Seagal was <laughs> classic. That was but really good. The one that seemed to top it all was yeah. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. Yeah, and, and you watch some of the Kenny Rogers stuff in the beginning. It's really good, but the icing on the cake, <laughs> and it's like when two worlds collided. Yeah. Was Jackass was at his prime and Will Sasso was at his prime and they interlocked and they made Kenny Rogers Jackass. And we meet back from the And beginning. if there's one thing you take away from this, I beg you people, please just watch Kenny Rogers Jackass. The link is literally one click away. It's right in that description. I highly recommend that one. That is number one Will Sasso. But uh, other than that, you know, once again, big shout out to Battle Axe Global. For sure. Really big, uh, big shout out to uh, all the people that we just plugged. Cheap plug. We had to fit that in there, Reef. And uh, look forward to future guests. We're trying to bring in more bigger names, and I cannot thank you enough for tuning in. And uh, well, have a happy time. thirsty Thursday. And I hope the temperature goes down. And I hope the forest fires go down out in BC. And I hope our Prime Minister pulls his head out of his ass. Cheers to you. <laughs> and I know you've probably been watching, and this green drink hasn't been touched yet. So I'll finish off with that. It's not Kool-Aid, it's uh, absinthe. Cheers! That's <laughs> right. It's a lot of absinthe. Also, by the way... Hey, oh. here's a new outro.